Minister Pruaich made the revelations today at the National Alliance Party induction. As most of his audience were intending candidates, the NA parliamentary leader shared his experiences as the country's longest serving treasurer, saying it was an important tool to be equipped with the economic story of the country. He said managing the economy of the country is the most important role for any government. Our current government has been proudly boasting in its speeches that Papua New Guinea was going to, going to have the highest growth rate in the world. It failed to correct itself when this did not eventuate. All Papua New Guineans would be better off today if our government had given more consideration to the quality of its spending than in promoting extravagant projects built at highly inflated costs. Yeah. He said despite the government's claims about the high rates of gross domestic product or GDP, the real story behind the numbers is that the management of the economy has faced serious shortcomings. He said GDP growth has eroded in recent years. It is expected to fall again this year and to keep falling. I repeat, keep falling, at least for the next four years. It seems like the economy has virtually fallen off a cliff under the present government. He said even though the Prime Minister told Parliament this week there would be no more borrowing, the Treasurer doubts the Prime Minister will keep to his words. That is because he can only say something today and tomorrow he does exactly the opposite. <laughs> Because of his economic strategy, Papua New Guinea will have budget deficits for another five years. The money needed won't fall from the sky, my friends. We will have to borrow. Minister Proich told the intending candidates that if NA is given the mandate in this election, the party will be guided by one overriding principle. As a government, they will adopt a people-first policy. Deli Waigeno, National, MTV News.